Hip osteoarthritis can be painful and disabling. It is a very common condition that occurs as a result of wear and tear on the cartilage padding in the hip. Several non-surgical treatments are available that help to relieve arthritic hip pain. They include anti-inflammatory medications, steroid injections, weight loss, and physical therapy. In cases of severe hip arthritis, these treatments may become ineffective. When this occurs, there is still a good option available, hip replacement. Hip replacement surgery involves replacing the worn out joint surfaces with metal implants. Usually the implants include an acetabular component, the hip socket, a femoral component, and a plastic liner. The patient is positioned on the operating room table. Usually, general anesthesia is used, meaning that the patient is put completely to sleep. Other options are available, including a spinal block. Once the patient is asleep, the hip is thoroughly cleansed and sterilized. Sterile drapes are placed carefully around the hip to protect against contamination. An incision is made over the hip joint. The skin is pulled out of the way and the muscles surrounding the hip joint are carefully dissected in order to expose the joint. The thigh is moved in such a way as to pull the femoral head, the ball and the ball and socket out of the acetabulum, the socket. The arthritic femoral head is then removed. The arthritic surface of the acetabulum is removed with a reamer. This re prepares it to receive the acetabular component of the new prosthesis. A plastic liner is placed inside the metal acetabular component. This keeps the metal components from scraping together. The bone canal of the femur is also reamed. It is then prepared with a brooch to receive the stem of the femoral component. The components are cemented in place. The new femoral head is positioned in the new socket. The muscles surrounding the hip are repaired with sutures. The skin can now be closed with sutures or staples.